In this video, we'll have a look at the embedded player available in the user interface. It has two modes of operation, the one you can listen to a live stream and another one you can preview the tracks in your library. And I'll show you some of the tips and tricks around that. So the first thing to notice is that you can actually change the way the duration counts down by just clicking on it. If you click on the duration, you can see now it's counting up or clicking it again shows you the time that it's played so far and also uh, what the total time is and if I click it again it just gives me the total time and one more time it gives me the countdown counter again I can start listening to the station by just clicking the play button and there we can hear the audio I'll just mute it for now um, or actually let me unmute and I can adjust the volume here but important to note here is that it says live so this lets me know we're busy with the live stream the player will also show you what's currently playing and if there's album cover art associated with the track it will display the album cover art also the artist and title and other information will be displayed I'm currently listening to the live stream and you can see that by the text here on the left hand side but you, I can also preview any track in my library so let me just turn on the audio for a second and then let's listen to this track you will notice that information here to the left changed to track and the track information is now displayed and I have a new button here available which is the unload preview track so when I'm done listening to the track I can just simply eject it and go back to the live stream notice that the live stream was stopped however so if i want to listen to the live stream i'll have to click the play button again another button is the next button so you can skip the currently playing song that's not recommended in a live stream because it's quite abrupt when you skip a track so those should really be in exceptional cases that you click the skip button but let's go ahead and do that and what we should be seeing is that there we see that it immediately jumped to the next track a final thing to know is that um, what's being displayed sometimes there's a delay so if you're listening to the live stream the queue and the history might show that the track has already started playing but the player doesn't show it yet and that's because there's a buffer delay between the streaming servers and the player and that delay might be as long as a minute so what you're seeing in the queue in the history you might have to wait up to a minute uh, to see it in the player there's of course a few other ways to listen to your station especially from the perspective of a listener but that will be covered in a future video so we'll be on the lookout for those and thank you for listening